I started by masking off most of the battery box and spray painting a border of gold. With a white pencil, I sketched the tentacles directly onto the battery box. I covered the gold trim on the battery box and then sprayed a gloss black spray paint over the rest. I then cut out the tentacles from black craft foam. I then sprayed the tentacles with a gold spray paint. Having learned from my last experience, I first painted a piece of craft foam silver, then punched out the individual rivets. This gives the edges a black look without having to be painstakingly painted on afterwards. I repeated the process of making the tentacles with several different types of gears, also from the same craft foam. I then used super glue to assemble the individual pieces. After that, it was a simple matter of carefully gluing the assembled tentacles onto the battery box. So I covered this cup holder with a scrap piece of leather that I had left over from the seat cover. And I also cut out an extra gear. So I decided that I would make a steampunk emblem that would be displayed when the cup holder was not in use. Uh, and I also used a small green glass fake jewel. I then sprayed the gear gold to match the rest of the foam. I then painted the back of the glass jewel silver to reflect light. This turned out to be a pretty bad idea because the acrylic ended up washing away uh, even though the piece had been coated with a waterproofing agent, so I don't recommend doing this step. Here is the completed cup holder emblem, and here's the fully assembled piece reattached to the steampunk moped.